What's up guys? I am gonna go get some coffee right now because my head is throbbing. I have a confession about this Starbucks drive through Last time I was here, I was in line. I was reaching down for my bag and I didn't realize my foot was off the brake because I'm 27 and I still don't know the ins and outs of driving apparently. And it literally hit the car in front of me, but it's fine, nothing happened. But I did feel really bad and felt really stupid. I just feel like every time something is going on with my car, I turn the camera on. You know, last time I had like a nail in my tire and the time before that I had a nail in my tire and then the time before that I had a nail in my tire. My oil light's been on for like a month and I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know what an oil light is for. I mean, I know it means I need to change it, but what does oil do for your car, you know? I have no idea. But I do know that if it runs out, the engine explodes, I don't know. I should just get a new car. My dad's probably watching this like. Thank you. You. You too. You too. Wow, I'm so nice. All right, oil place. Let's get this show on the road. There's only one right here. I'm just refusing to go. <sighs> it's so windy out. Why is it? It's funny in LA. If the weather is not perfect, everyone complains. Dude, my car is being lifted off the ground, I feel. Okay, where's the mall? If I can get through this oil change, you can get through anything. Oh my God, there's a giant tree on the road. I was gonna move the camera, but I'm scared this thing will pop off my windshield. I don't have time to put it back up and get my oil changed. Time to go shopping as my engines. <laughs> there's a place called Shoe Doctor. A little dramatic. Do I regret anything? No. Did I need any of these things? Absolutely not. All right, let's be an adult and get my oil changed. No, I don't want to. I'm here, I did it. No offense, but I just got my oil changed, so. Weird flex, but go off, sis. All right, you know what? Why don't I just give up? Why did I start filming a vlog and a day later, it's on again! I swear to God. Uh, I do realize, however, that these problems are like the least intense problems of having a car. Honestly, I can't even tell. I mean, they all look fine. Is this one flat? How do I know? Good thing I just parked at therapy. <laughs> all right, well, just checking in and letting you know that every time I film, something happens to my tire. Never gonna film again, <laughs> bye. I just postmated some Chipotle. I literally eat it like three to four times a week, which is really bad. <laughs> what I eat in a week, every day it's Chipotle. Like, I, that'd be kind of funny, actually. <laughs> is that an idea? Someone's probably done that, right? Right now, I'm working on a thumb, I'm gonna try to work on a thumbnail for Bruce and I's podcast, the YouTube part of it, if you don't, no, that is it's called a couple of issues and it's on YouTube and Apple podcasts and iTunes and everything But usually Bruce always does the thumbnails because I I have zero artistic ability like Absolutely zero like even the thumbnails I make for Carly and Aaron like they're not good You know what I mean, but I feel like it's our brand at the same time. This is just my day today Aaron is in Ireland, so I basically have like two weeks to do with nothing. <laughs> uh, we pre-filmed all of our videos So we're still posting Tuesdays Fridays and Sundays obviously I'm gonna be Jake Paul for a second because we never miss a Posting day. All right. I hate myself. Hey guys. I look like but I'm gonna do like a makeup tutorial for you guys Even though I don't I mean I know how to do makeup, but I don't know how to do like makeup makeup Maybe I should just do my makeup for you guys and everyone can tell me what I do wrong I think that would be fun. The thing about my new apartment is I can't really see myself in the mirrors at all because of the lighting So maybe I'll just actually in the so this is our podcast slash Bruce's studio. Wow apartment tour The lighting is actually really good in here. Hi. It's like the only room in here that has good lighting for makeup. I think I need to get one of those makeup mirrors with the lights. In the meantime, I'm just gonna keep doing my makeup in here. So I have my beauty blender, you know, she's she's doing okay. She's struggling a little bit. Put a little bit of this foundation. It's literally like porcelain see-through person because I am so pale. It's really hard for me to find any type of foundation or powder that isn't too dark on my skin because I'm so pale, which is kind of sad, but I don't really care. I'm me and I'm beautiful. <laughs> I'm just kind of dabbing it all in because you know, that's what we do around here. Foundation smells really good. And then I use some Fit Me because it's honestly the, probably the only powder that matches my skin. I just feel like it makes me look better. I don't really know. It just makes me feel like I can, you know, step out into the world and maybe go to like CVS or something. And then I have an eyebrow pencil, which like, I'm gonna be honest, I just grabbed a random brown one and I just kind of like go over my eyebrows. And I don't think it does much, but it does make them look darker to me. And I'm not like drawing anything on really. It's just like I'm 
adding like a shade, I guess. <laughs> the worst makeup tutorial of all time. James Charles is, James Charles is fine. By the way, this makeup routine takes maybe six minutes. What is my next step? Oh, sometimes I'll do blush, but then sometimes I feel like it doesn't do anything. Maybe it's because I've had this since I was 12. I always use this. I, I show this in another vlog of mine. It's Maybelline Copper or something. I don't know, which I meant to buy a new one yesterday because she get a real small. They come like this big and she's shrinking. This, here's a qualm I have. I put eyeliner on in one vlog and everyone was saying, why are you stretching your eyelid? Because I do this and I put it on. Ever since then, every once in a while, I try and not do it and it just gets like wrinkly on my eyelid. Like it doesn't go on straight. So how do you do it? How? I'll do it and you guys can tell me why this is the correct way. Okay, I guess it's like going on, but... <sighs> But if this was black, this would not be working for me. See, I like this one because I can be kind of messy with it and it doesn't really matter. You guys, Erin got engaged today. I'm flipping the frick out. That is so exciting and I'm so happy for her. Me, Erin, TJ, and one of her friends that was visiting were out at a bar a couple weeks ago and they, Erin and her friend went up to get a drink and it was just me and TJ and he told me and I was like, what? It was so hard not to say anything when she got back to the table and I felt weird. Like, I, not in a bad way, it was just like, how can I just sit here and pretend he didn't just tell me this? I needed to tell her right away, but obviously I didn't because I'm a great friend. I'm literally almost done already. I just need to put on my mascara. And then I have this CoverGirl Lash Blast. Lash Blast. Oh yeah. I always get the outside corners pretty thick because that makes your eyes look a little bit bigger. I like my eyelashes looking really dark at the bases. Otherwise, I just feel weird. Like if I get my makeup done for something, if they don't make my eyelashes really dark at the roots, I have to go do it myself. <laughs> I feel like I look like I don't have eyelashes for some reason when they're too light. Oh, I'm bringing out. I don't want to nick my eyeball and make it. You know what the worst thing is? If you nick your eyeball with the freaking wand is this a wand Gaudi Obliviosa. if you nick your eyeball it starts not bleeding i was gonna say bleeding not bleeding it starts watering so bad you have to wait like seven minutes to do it again and it hurts every time i nick my eyeball i literally want to punch a wall like something i've never had anger issues i don't have anger issues when i nick my eyeball i literally want to punch a wall i usually will stomp on the ground really hard and i just want to scream i don't know it just triggers something in me uh, look at this guy hanging oh god Oh god, please don't go in my eye. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, oh god. Oh no. Like, what if James Charles put out a video like this? I need him. Look at my hand. Please tag James Charles. I don't think you can tag on YouTube. I really want him to see this and how sad it is. Oh, and now it's dark there. Like, I, I, I give up. No, we gotta truck through. I'm a strong, independent woman. Who am I kidding? I'm filming myself uh, doing my makeup. What'd you get? I got a bass guitar. What? Like, this is it? Yeah, this is it. Oh, sick. You be my background music. I try to make it look like a time lapse. I'm like, you don't hear anything. That's so funny. <laughs> She's pretty. Look at that. Screenshot this. It's a good pick for the Insta. He got a new bass. <laughs> Gets no views. He stole Flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers' bass. <laughs> I don't know who that is. It's fine. I'll just stick to my bad makeup. Uh, hello? So I've been doing my mascara for like 18 minutes. Really? I don't know why I can't do it right now. What does this entail? What does this mean? Like it looks like your eyes are done. Yeah, they basically are. Do you poke your eye out? I was just talking about that on the vlog. If I nick my eye, I always am like, oh, and like stomp on the ground really hard. I've like hit it's my so mirror before. It hurts so bad. Because I, yeah, I was gonna say, because one, it nicks your eye, and two, the mascara is in your eye, so it's like burning and it stings. You just did your makeup and it's all running down, and it's just like you and have you to just wait. Get so frustrated. Yeah, and yeah. Well, it's not even like frustrated. It's just something in me is like, <laughs> and I like want to like punch <laughs> a wall. Like, it's such an instant sting, and there's makeup. Did somebody in your say eye. sting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that concludes my makeup. Not too bad, except this is like very clumpy. Wow, I'm so beautiful from beating my own face. <laughs> I wonder when that became a term. What a weird term. I suppose this is the end of my vlog. I really want to upload, so here you guys go. Watch it. I don't know. Just to reiterate, because this is very important, go watch Aaron and I's videos. It's Carly and Aaron. If for some reason you're not subscribed to Carly and Aaron, subscribe to Carly and Aaron. We upload Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. And follow Bruce and I's podcast. It's a couple of issues, and it's on YouTube and it's on Apple Music and it's on Spotify, I think, sometimes, I don't know. And um, check out Bruce's new song. He released a song called Better Off This Way and he goes by The Weekend Riot. So if you look up The Weekend Riot or Better Off This Way on uh, on Spotify or iTunes or I don't know, anywhere probably. It's a really good song. It's very, very from the heart and I love it. Go follow Aaron's channel. It's just youtube.com slash Aaron Gilfoy, I think. 
I don't know. It's in my description. And go congratulate her because she just, she just got engaged, which is freaking insane. That's like such a once in a lifetime thing for, for a lot of people. Sometimes it's not, which is okay. But that's just like, it's so crazy. Um, hello? It's four o'clock. Oh. I did sleep till like almost one, so time flies when you sleep till 1 p.m. But thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and prescribe, and I will see you next time. Why am I talking like this? I don't know. Bye, guys.